a San Francisco lawmaker wants to make racist 911 calls illegal, and he had a little fun creating a name for the act. What is going on from Reach TV Studios in Hollywood? You're watching What's Trending. Be sure to like and subscribe because you know the drill by this point. It's Andy to give you all of your social media news daily. Let's talk about this lawmaker who's having a little more fun than some others in a, in a case that I guess is more serious than, than is. But anyway, let's talk about the, the Karen Act and how it should, I guess, be passed in effect. Now, a member of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, Shimon Walton, introduced the act to make it illegal for anyone to make a 911 call that is based on racist or false accusations. He is calling it the Caution Against Racially Exploitive Non-Emergencies Act, or the Karen Act. Yeah, Karen, those people who call the police for no reason, those privileged white women who maybe just feel that they have the entitlement to get a police officer to come help them when really nothing is happening. The Karen Act's press release directly cites Lisa Alexander, the woman who called the cops on a Filipino man for stenciling Black Lives Matter on the front wall of his home, and Amy Cooper, the woman who called the police on a black man birdwatching in Central Park as reasons for this new legislation. It reads, quote, with the rise of smartphones, there has been an increase in racial profiling and discriminatory incidents recorded and shared on social media and subsequently broadcasted on the news nationwide. And it continues to say, quote, these are only a few examples that have been publicized recently, and there are countless others that do not get news coverage or are not recorded. And of course, the internet had everything to say in the right-minded so way of the Twitterverse, because Twitter has all the right answers. One Twitter user wrote, me getting ready to watch all these Karens lose their shit over the Karen Act. And even, the Karen Act passes. Karens collectively demand to speak to their representative. And even this one, the Karen Act is a well-crafted acronym of anti-racist legislation. More thought went into this than all the Karens had put together. And lastly, this one who calls out the people who are against the act. If you're more upset about the name of the Karen Act instead of the actions of Karen, you might just be a Karen. We see you. Now, making a false police report is already a crime, but the bill would actually amend the San Francisco Police Code to make it unlawful for someone to fabricate a report based on someone's race, ethnicity, religious affiliation, gender, or sexual orientation. And just last month, a California lawmaker introduced a bill to make calling 911 based on someone's race a hate crime. And it still has to be determined whether this bill and the Karen Act will actually be passed. So overall, here's to Karens. Hopefully that you will make us have more laws and legislature passed because you don't know when to hang up the phone or even put the phone down when you're not really in danger. But let us know in the comments down below what you think. Follow me at Andy Lawani for more social media daily. And don't find yourself caught up with the Karen because too many these days.